everybody welcome back to my channel the bean and the rose my name is Brittany and I am here to share with you a Dollar Tree haul and I'm super excited about it there are so many new things out right now I cannot wait to show you I've been holding on to a couple of things for like oh gosh like five days because I was looking for like the one or two extra things and I finally found them today so I decided today I was gonna share the whole entire thing with you guys so Stay tuned to the very end. I will have pictures of the stuff I didn't pick up or the other options that are available for things that I did not purchase or that I purchased a specific style of and there were other styles. So I'm going to go in. It's a little bit of stuff, but I'm going to try and um, make it kind of quick, okay? So the very first thing I wanted to share with you guys is they have a bunch of baby stuff out right now. So one of the first things I picked up was this little piggy bank. So it looks similar to the little uh, metal looking um, like balloon animals that have been out, but now they have uh, the hippo, and there are a few different characters. So um, I'll show you at the end. I believe there was also a hippo and something. I, I There was a hippo that was also in the same like silver and gold, and then they had like some ones in like baby colors. Those will all be pictured at the end, so stay tuned for that. But I thought this guy was super cute. So I went ahead and picked him up. He's got his little tail in the back, and this is where you put the money in. So I thought he was too cute not to get, so I picked that up. Um, the other one was they have a bunch of wall hooks. Now this was my absolute favorite, and it's only because I don't have a baby. I have little girls, and I thought this was perfect to put their robes on in their room because they all love unicorns right now, and my daughter is recently... Um, a little interested in Pegasus. So I thought, oh, it's a unicorn Pegasus. It's perfect. So I went ahead and picked this up. I plan on hanging it up in the room to hang their robes on. So I thought that was really, really cute. They had a bunch, like a lot, a lot of dinosaurs and like ABC blocks and all kinds of stuff. So definitely keep your eye out for those. The next thing I found, which is really cute, and I have not seen anybody else haul this yet, so it must be pretty new. They are wall stickers, but they are like, I don't know, like little hippie animals, but they're like so cute. So this one here says Dreamer. It's the only one with words, so I assume you could put it on, um, like he would have, uh, he, the rest of them don't have any kind of words at all. So I don't know why that is, but yeah, he says Dreamer on him. And then there's a little fox here. And then on the back there is a bunny and a little hedgehog with a cherry or an apple or something. I want to say cherry because they're so little, um, but it, it could be an apple. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I thought that was super cute. I had never seen that, and that's what it looks like all together if you can see it right here. So I was super excited to find that. And... That was like the newest one. There were a couple of other ones that I did take pictures of, so check those out as well. But that I think that's the one I have never seen anybody in anybody else's videos or anything. That was the only one I had seen. And then I found this really cool, and like all the Crayola stuff that they have out, which I t also took a picture of, um, I just picked up this, but it is a Solar System Mobile. So it basically has everything you need, and you just... Put it together so it's like a really easy craft but also it helps with the you know learning the solar system and all the planets and you know kind of helping them grasp the idea of them going around the sun um, so I picked that up for my kids since I do homeschool um, the next things that I found finally are the mermaid pens so each of my daughters picked out what color they wanted so I don't know if you can tell but this one is purple and this is pink so it's kind of hard to see. They also had one where the tail was green and the other one the tail was like an aqua color, like this kind of color. Um, so I took pictures of those ones at the end so you guys could see those. Um, I also picked up a really cute um, like grocery list pad and it is magnetic. It has the magnet on the back and it says this one has, this is by Crown Jewels and it does not say how many sheets there are. So I'm not sure on the sheet count, but it was super cute. I couldn't pass it up. 
I love all the like kind of organic natural looking little ones like this so I picked that up for myself and then I also picked up a while ago I picked up two drawing pads and this time they had drawing notebooks for my kids so I went ahead and picked these up because they're easier for them to take with us the other ones are good maybe if we're gonna be at home because they're so big um, but I like that these have the spiral so they can kind of flip it and uh, so these I'm gonna I'd rather use these for our, their nature journals than what I picked up before I think these are a better option I also picked up a couple of candles now there are there is a new scent it's a s'more smell by um, Old Williamsburg however I am not a chocolate scent person personally I just don't really like it um, it does smell like chocolate it's just not my thing so if you really like that chocolatey smell you should go and check it out because they have those but I went ahead and picked up this bourbon maple I really like the bourbon scented ones and this one's really nice it's a little sweet but I think the throw isn't so strong on them that I am going to like be overwhelmed by it so I think that this is probably a perfect like scent for that and then the other one I picked up is by luminescence it's not an old Williamsburg even though they're in the same like containers but it is pumpkin maple cream and this one oh, I love everything pumpkin you guys I seriously love everything pumpkin this one smells so good and I'm hoping the throw on it is good because I love this smell so um, yeah make sure you check because if you're just looking at the colors there's a whole bunch that are about the same color and you might miss a scent that you like now, the next thing I picked up is another movie. I know I've been hauling a lot of movies, but they've been having, like, different stores have, like, new ones. Like, all completely different movies. Um, so this one I got is Blu-ray, digital, and DVD, and it's the Ramona and Beezus. And I know that I think this is a book, like a children's book. And so I thought it sounded cute, and I could, another movie to watch with the kids when we can't decide on something. So um, I went ahead and picked this one up. You guys let me know if it's cute. If you guys have seen it before, I have not. Um, but I'm excited to have that also in our kids movie collection now. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to show you is probably my favorite, the, the, my favorite of the things that I found today. And there's a lot, so I mean it was kind of hard to decide on what I liked the most. They have so much new like art stuff, like canvases and all kinds of like wall hangings and stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, so the first one <laughs> says bloom where you are planted and it has roses and those of you that follow me know I love roses and cotton stems. Like those are probably my favorite, roses and cotton. Um, so they have this one, it is a canvas, it has the hooks for you to hang it attached. These are really nice. I, I am really surprised that Dollar Tree has these. Um, I know it's just a print and it's not painted, but it's still like these are these are pretty nice for a dollar. Um, so I did pick up that one, and then I picked up this one that says "Do What You Love," and it has cotton all over it, and I love the colors. And I just ugh, couldn't. I've been. This is what I was looking for, you guys. This. And the next one are what I was looking for before I could do this haul to share with you guys. So, um, yeah, make sure you go because these were the only two out of all of them. Like, there was pretty much one of each print in the box. And I don't know if they're getting more or not, but you pretty much have to be the first person there when, you, when these are out to get them because these are going to go. Um, so I did pick up that one. And then this one here says, Love is the Answer, and it is a wreath with cotton on it, and I love it. It's so pretty. I just, oh, it has acorns. Like, this is so fall to me. Like, I love that I found this right now. Super, super excited about this one. So, not just those. I also found these. Now, are these not super cool? So, like, like the other signs that used to say dream or relax, these are very similar in the style of them, but they have nicer prints on them. And some of them are actually, like, the whole thing is colored. So, this one here says Farm Sweet Farm, and it has the rooster on it, and I actually picked up two of those because I have a friend who was just visiting, who went back home, and we didn't see it when she was here, but we saw that some people were hauling them, and I found one like the day that she left, 
And so I picked one up for her because she kind of has a country-ish kitchen as well, um, like a farmhouse kitchen, and she loves roosters. So this is perfect for her. I already told her. Hi, Esther. <laughs> um, I already told her I'd picked one up for her, so... Um, I went ahead and got two of those. Now the other ones, I kind of just wanted to show you guys what they look like. So this one here says Home Sweet Home. It's in teal. It has a grayish like frame on it. And the words are like see-through. Um, so the house and the words are see-through on this one. And the rest of it is all one color. This is the only one I feel like the, the color doesn't... It's not as smooth. I don't know if you can tell on here. It's kind of hard to show you on here. But if you look at it from like a distance, you can see where it's a little spotty. Um, but on a wall, you're not going to see it because you're going to have like a back to it. But when you're just holding it up, you can kind of see it. So be careful with this specific one. If for some reason, it just had a harder time printing, I guess. This one, not so much. This one's a little smoother. It looks like the paint that they put on it um, was a little bit better. But this one says live, laugh, and love on it. Super cute. And it's also kind of in, I don't even know. It's like a teal emerald mix. It's kind of a greenish blue. But that one was really cute. And I love the font on it. It kind of looks like my font I have at the end of my videos. And then this one here says home is where the heart is. It got really dark outside all of a sudden. I guess the sun went behind a cloud. Um, and this one is really cute. And so it has the outline of the house on it and then the words here and then the little um, the little heart at the bottom. So I do think that this is probably my second favorite one. But you just can't top the rooster, man. If you are in a farmhouse, that is perfect. Um, the next bit I'm going to show you is like food or like kind of household stuff. So um, I needed one of these. I have never owned a hamburger patty press, but I think it's going to make my life a lot easier. So I picked one up because they had them there. So it's two pieces. You put the meat in here and then you press it and it forms your patty for you. Easy. People know what it is. Um, the next thing, and I only want to mention this. I really wasn't going to show you guys. They have these big cans of soda at my Dollar Trees and they're in the refrigerator section. Um... But one of the ladies that was in line behind me had no idea that they even had this size soda cans um, in general, let alone at the Dollar Tree. So um, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys because I personally like soda from a can. I don't really like it from the big like two liters or anything because I feel like it just doesn't have the same flavor. Um, so I like to actually get the cans when I can and I think these big cans for a dollar when you just kind of want something, you know, that you don't have to go home and put in the refrigerator and stuff. It's easy, you know, that's why I picked it up. The next thing I was pretty excited about, sorry, I know my light gets weird when I move back too far, so sorry about that. Um, they had brand name Pop-Tarts. So the only flavor mine had was the Frosted Chocolate Fudge, but it's still a really great deal. Even on clearance at my grocery store, these are not a dollar. So I picked up two boxes for my daughter because she likes Pop-Tarts and she tried one this morning. We opened it and she said they were delicious. So that is why we got them. The next food thing I picked up is the Keebler Fudge Stripe Cookies. They are in honor of Jurassic World. They are the Dino Edition. Um, as far as I know, they should be the classic flavors even though they're like weird colored. It doesn't say anything about it being white chocolate or anything. It's just a different color. So I'm assuming these taste the same. And maybe I will let you guys know in my next video when my daughter tries them. Um, if they're any good or if they taste the same. Um, I will let you guys know. And then I have been getting these Sara Lee Hawaiian buns. Um, my daughter likes these for her sandwiches instead of bread, my youngest. So this has been the easiest way to get her to eat sandwiches. And sometimes it's just an easy lunch and I don't make it for them all the time. But when I want something fast and easy, we can just take with us. If I use regular sandwich bread, she really struggles to eat. So I got those for her. And then they have some new... Oh, sorry guys. They have some new breads out. So this is the 45 calorie bread. Um, so the serving size is two slices. There's 90 calories in two slices. Um, and they had whole wheat and honey wheat. Um, and so this is by Sarah Lee. So I went ahead and picked up one of these. 
And they're really big loaf of bread. Um, and that's for my other daughter because she says she didn't like the Hawaiian rolls. So, you know, kids are picky and they all have their preferences. So, one for each of them. At a dollar, it's easier to do than going to the store and spending three, four, five dollars on a loaf. And then I was really excited about this one, even though I really should not be eating these. They had pumpkin spice Thompson bagels at my Dollar Tree. And you guys know, oh, they smell so good. <laughs> you guys know how much I love pumpkin, obviously. And so I picked this up because who can resist, honestly? Like, this is just amazing that they had this at the Dollar Tree. So I definitely picked up one of those. The next thing I picked up, and sorry again, I'm going to move. I picked up two of these repurchased. You know, go, you guys know if you watch that I love this tube-free toilet paper. I think it's great. Picked up two more of those. And then, I was also really excited about this. Oh, you guys also have been watching. You know I love Dia de los Muertos stuff. And I love sugar skulls and everything. And who does not love this bag. It is gorgeous, and this is the only one I saw. They have other Dia de los Muertos bags that I, you know, they have the sugar skulls on them, but they're more cartoony and stuff. I love the art on this one. I just could not pass this up, and all the roses, and ugh, I just couldn't. And then, I wound up getting Christmas ornaments, because I wasn't sure if they would be here later, because I really like these specific ones, and I'm picky, and I like to make sure I get a good one. So I bought them already. So they will just go into storage, of course. But one of the first ones I picked out was this one. And it's a little sled with Frosty on it. It says, let it snow. And I was really picky because I need it to be symmetrical. Is anybody else that way, <laughs> like that anal about stuff? I needed it to be really symmetrical and like even on the snow on his nose and stuff and I felt like this one worked. There's a really cute Santa one as well but I could not find one that met my standards so I didn't pick it up. Hopefully as they get more in maybe I will find one but I did not find one today so this is the one that I did get. Um, I also picked up one of these. Now I did not know about this tradition. It's a pickle ornament and apparently it is a German tradition. You hide it in the Christmas tree on Christmas Eve and the first family member to find it Christmas morning gets a blessing and gets to open the first present and I thought that was kind of cute and so I mean most of the time we just let our kids open one at the same time like but I just thought it was kind of a cute idea so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. It's a little bit of like culture for the kids understand like different people's way of celebrating. Um, and then I picked up this one and the burlap got a little bit in here so I will have to fix that but it's a little um, jingle bell in white and it's got some little like pine cones up here at the top I thought it was so pretty so I went ahead and picked up one of those and I don't want to get glitter everywhere so I'm trying not to make a mess over here the next one that I think a lot of you guys are gonna really like is a little red truck with a Christmas tree in the back and it says Merry Christmas here at the bottom. Again, I had to find a Christmas tree that was cute and not smushed or anything. So yeah, take your time if you care as much as I do and you can find one. But um, I thought the little red truck was super cute so I decided to get that one. And then I got, I got this little deer head. I thought he was really pretty. It is glittery, but I mean Christmas stuff, you're gonna have to. But I also made sure that it had all the little pieces on it and everything and that they were pretty much in, you know, even. So I went ahead and picked up that guy. I thought he was really pretty. And then I picked up this sled. They also had it in red and I really, I couldn't decide which one I liked more. I just kinda, I got this one. I may also get the red one, I am not sure. Um, but I do like, it's got the little pine cone back here and the ribbon and the little like um, pine tree branch there. It's super cute. So I did pick up that as well. And the next one I picked up is a Christmas tree that has little like Christmas pearls inside. Or not Christmas pearls, regular pearls um, inside and it's hollow. So I thought that the, the dimensions on this made it really pretty. So I picked up one of those. 
I also picked up, got two left guys. I also picked up this reindeer because, oh, look at the legs. I think I just love how, like, beefy he is in the legs. Some of the other ones are so dainty, but I just, I don't know. I liked this, the way that this one looked, and you can see his tail kind of in the back, and the antlers are so pretty. So I, I picked up this one. I thought he was just gorgeous. And then last but not least, I just fell in love with this white church. I think it just looks like it's um, covered in snow. It just, I don't know, the whole look of this is just beautiful. And I liked the little uh, thing here in the front, the little decorative piece. So pretty. I This this one I had been eyeballing for a couple of weeks because it was just too pretty. And I'm like, I'm going to get that thing because I really like it. A couple of times going back and I still liked it. So um, it is very glittery, but I don't care because... You know, the Christmas bin with all the ornaments is like full of glitter anyway. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys added some more things to your wish list. I hope you guys can find all the things that you want to find. But definitely you're going to need to go out there and find it. Because all my stuff is coming in this week. And like I said, that seems like they only have like one of each of these um, canvases and I don't want you guys to miss. There is a ton of regular artwork out as well. I will post pictures of the ones that I like the most at the very end that I thought interested the most people. Um, but yeah, tons of stuff, tons of stuff. So this might be a little long with all the pictures and everything, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys don't mind. Also want to say a special hello. I met one of my followers, um, the other day at one of my local Dollar Trees and she recognized me and was said hi and stuff and I believe her name was Lori. So if I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. I hope that I got that right. Um, but we wanted to say hi. Thanks for, you know, stepping up and not being shy and saying hi to us at the store, me and my kids. So um, that was really fun. That's the first time that's happened to me and I was pretty excited about that. So thanks Lori for saying hi and um, everybody else until the next time, have a great day. Bye, guys.